Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to be talking about Rosalind Sussman Yellow as a scientist who inspires me. Rosalind was born in the Bronx on July 19, 1921, as the daughter of two Jewish parents. Neither had the advantage of a high school education, but they never doubted it, that their two children would make it through college, though they had differing ideas for Yellow. Yellow was an early reader, reading even before kindergarten. Since her family could not afford books in their home, her older brother, Alexander, would take her on a trip every week to the public library to exchange books already read for new ones. Beyond reading, however, Yellow was dedicated to mathematics and the sciences from an extremely young age. As a smart but poor New York City girl, Yellow attended Hunter College, a highly competitive but free women's college. Yellow's college life was marked by a passion for physics and a determination to overcome gender discrimination. While initially finding her inspiration in chemistry, she soon shifted her focus to physics, driven by influential college professors. In the scientific atmosphere, atmosphere of the late 30s, Yellow's enthusiasm for nuclear physics grew astronomically. Despite societal expectations for women at that time, she pursued her passion, eventually earning a degree in physics, despite her family's desire for her to pursue a teaching degree. After college, she married Aaron Yellow, the son of a rabbi, in June 1943. They had two children, Benjamin and Alana Yellow. In terms of science, Yellow wanted to pursue a graduate degree. However, graduate programs were not eager to give assistantships to women, and she could not pay for a degree. Therefore, she took a job as a secretary for a biochemist at Columbia University in exchange for classes. Luckily, Yellow got her break not long after, when the U.S. joined the war and male scientists signed up to fight. In 1941, Yellow accepted an assistantship at the University of Illinois in the College of Engineering. As she recounted to biographer Eugene Strauss, I was the first woman to have a graduate assistantship in physics there since 1917. Additionally, she was the only female faculty member among 400. There were no women's bathrooms in the facilities, and she had spent many nights sleeping on the floor of the lab to, pr to prove her belonging to her co-workers. Rosalind Sussman Yellow achieved pioneering breakthroughs in science, co-developing the RIA technique in the early 1960s. This groundbreaking method revolutionized medical diagnostics, enabling precise measurements of minute biological substances like hormones. Yellow's RIA not only advanced endo endocrinology, but also facilitated diagnostic tests for various diseases, including diabetes and thyroid disorders. Recognized for her significant contributions, Yellow was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1977, becoming the second woman in history to receive this prestigious honor in the field. Um, as you can tell from looking at the slide, she had so many awards because her contributions were so great. However, I will save you the trouble of me reading through them, but just know that she earned many awards. Rosalind Sussman Yellow is an inspirational figure for her groundbreaking contributions to medical science, notably the development of the RIA technique. Overcoming gender biases in a male-dominated field, she made significant advancements in medical diagnostics. Yellow's resilience and success, highlighted by receiving the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1977, serve as a beacon for aspiring scientists, particularly women, showcasing the impact of determination and excellence. Her legacy includes not only scientific achievements, but also commitment to education and mentorship, leaving an enduring mark on the scientific community and inspiring future generations to be like her and to always chase their passions.